Good morning. And it is morning. It is morning. Um, excuse the, the pomp and ceremony. I've got to go to work in a minute. But this is important. This is important. I got something in the in the post or the mail yesterday at work. And it's from Crooked Dice. There we go, Crooked Dice. Um, so this is something of a... Uh, extravagance uh, because I wasn't going to buy any new, I wasn't going to buy any new stuff this year. Um, I have enough stuff. I have enough stuff, and I got some uh, Kickstarters coming in and stuff, and I got nowhere to put it. Yeah, the, my house is full, um, and I'm married. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, right? But I could not resist this could not resist it could not be resisted so this is uh, an unboxing I've already opened it just to because I couldn't wait but I it's still packaged as it was when I received it just with the, the tape cut anyway check it out check it out all right here we go unboxing yeah unboxing all right first thing we got like a a nice personalized message on the receipt yeah thank you crooked dice thank you uh, that it's just a little thing like that but that made me smile um, companies out there listen up right what have I got in there what have we got in there I've got two two bags and this is a bit of a clue, an advert for uh, 7TV, the game, right? There's a big clue there, big clue, big clue. Right, let's open up this one first. Right, what have we got here? Heavy, resin-esque. Oh, what is it? What is it? I know what it is. Does that ring a bell? Does that ring a bell? There's also a resin thing that goes on the top. Not quite sure which way it goes, but you get the idea. And obviously wheels, these are metal. These wheels go on obviously in the wheel areas of the of the car right so can you guess what it is yet Guess what it is yet imagine this painted white with a little red symbol on the side uh, something I'm probably not able to do myself um, but I'll have to try because I don't have a printer and I don't have any means of printing any decals or anything like that whoops I dropped Got something. Yeah. Right, don't lose any of these small pieces. These are like lights or something like that. Didn't even know they were in there. I'll drop one. Don't lose those because they're really small. <clears throat> right, okay. So, assuming you've guessed what that is, right? I'm not going to tell you. I am not going to tell you. Right, bag number two. There you go. Bag number two. I'm really happy with that by the way, that is awesome, better than I expected. Right, oh it's some metal miniatures, metal miniatures, let's just pour them out. Right, let's start with this character. Yeah, imagine that painted green, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun. Right. <clears throat> As for the rest of these, we've got a paranormal investigator with his ghost trap thing. Yeah, he's the intelligent one. We've got another paranormal investigator with his ray gun. <clears throat> another one. Yeah, these are all 
very much like the original characters. Um, yeah, these are totally awesome. I'm gonna have so much fun. I'm gonna be using these in <coughs> Waste Man because luckily there's five of them. Five, five units. There we go. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect for Waste Man. Right. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to paint them anytime soon. Not for at least a few weeks anyway. Because I have started... There we go. I've started painting... Massive Darkness, that's it. Massive Darkness, which is... Uh, obviously there are a lot, a lot of miniatures in that game. Um, so that's going to take a while. Um, and my philosophy is also, aside from not buying anything new, whoops, um, is I am. Um, <clears throat> if I start painting something, I will not stop painting it. I, as in, I will finish doing it. Yeah, don't start. Don't stop that. Stop something else, and then start something else, and then stop something else, because that. That way leads to craziness and things never getting done and the house being full of half done stuff and nothing actually finished. Yeah. Those were the bad times, the bad times. So <clears throat> I'm going to finish Massive Darkness before I even look at this, but this will be next and it won't take long. Um, I don't know how to do the the paranormal investigators symbol though because I'm not very good at freehand I could probably just about do a no entry sign on the side without a ghost uh, I might have to get someone a friend or someone to print out a, a logo because you can't have that without a logo on it you know what I mean and it won't be complete. They'll be like, oh, what's that? Uh, yeah, anyway. <clears throat> well happy with it. Well happy. Um, right, that was it. That was my um, that was my breaking my own rules. Right, unable to resist temptation um, thing. <laughs> All I did almost get this too. Almost. Almost. Um, especially now they've got this dice starter thing going on, it's cheap, yeah, get the game for 40 quid with no miniatures, 60 quid for the game plus two boxes of miniatures. <clears throat> I was strong, I was strong, anyway, that's it for me, um, see you in the wasteland. <laughs>